Hi there, this is Tao, your art instructor again, and today we're going to speak about speaking part two. Probably this is the most difficult part in your speaking test. For me, it is, at least. Because here you know that you have one or two minutes to speak on a specific topic and having a monologue, so you won't have any supporting questions and stuff like that. And a lot of people are struggling with just the fact that you need to speak for two, two minutes straight and they have no idea how to develop this, how to develop this topic, how to develop that topic, what to say more in this or that situation. And for that problem, I have a very good strategy for you. So stay with us and we're going to start right now. So the strategy that I'm talking about is called PPF. PPF, very easy to remember. P, first P stands for past. Second P stands for present. And F, yeah, stands for future. So when you see a topic, look at the history of it. How can you connect it with the past? Then talk about it, its current state is when you are talking about the present. And then see how can you speculate about the future of that thing or that event. And in this case, your answer can be very coherent. It will be easy to follow. It has a specific structure, right? This is what we need for our picking test. Not only that, what you can do here, you can show that you can use a wide range of grammar, right? Because you will have to use past tenses and you will have to use present tenses and also future. And you see, this way you are killing not only two birds with one stone, but a lot of birds with <laughs> one stone, you know what I mean? Let's take uh, describe an intelligent person that you know. Tell how you met that person and what did you guys do and what was your first impression of that person. After that, you'll have your main part and, and, and you can just describe that person in the present tense and, and telling things that are currently happening with that person. And how would you connect that to the future? How would you make a smooth transition to the future? Is that you can say something that like that person inspires me a lot and I hope that in the future would be as successful as that person or something like that. This is one way to approach this strategy. You can also use it in, um, in other cases when you need to describe uh, a thing or an activity that you often do. Right? So try to practice this strategy um, and I will show you another way to use it. So if you Google PPF, a lot of uh, IELTS instructors would teach you yeah, how to use it in the classic way as I just um, explained it to you, right? Start from past and present and future. But I found another approach here as well. You can actually talk about the present first and then the past and then the future. And it really depends on what topic you are having. So be smart, see what works for you. So in this case, you will talk about something general first, things that is happening. After that, you will talk about your past experience and then you will try to connect that with the future. So this would work perfectly in this kind of topics when you need to describe like the time when you did something. So if you see the past tense uh, in your question, if you need to talk about your past experience, you know that you can use this strategy. So let's take one topic. Describe the time when you first tried some food or a specific dish. I remember I uh, saw the topic this year before. So you know right away that you will have to talk about your past experience, right? So put it as a main part, put it in the middle. So you can start from just talking about general things about 
you and food and how much you love trying new things, especially food. Or maybe you can even mention some facts about that specific dish that you're going to talk about, right? And for all of these things, you will have to use your present tenses, right? After that, you are moving on to the actual experience in the past when you tried that dish. And here you will develop your answer in the past tense. And then how would you connect that to the future? You can say something that like, I wish that wasn't the last time when I tried that dish and I, that I will have a chance to go back to like that country if you're talking about the foreign food that you tried abroad, right? To enjoy that uh, out of the world taste again and stuff like that. Or maybe you can say that I will learn how to or make that dish in the future. Like I'm too lazy to do it right now, but I hope that one day I'll be able to make myself a bowl of whatever. Okay, so this is a way to approach your um, speaking part two test. Remember, you should be very flexible. You should be smart when choosing a strategy, when building your answer. It's not like with every kind of topic you can use these strategies. But again, for those when you need to share about your past experiences, the present, past, future strategy would work perfectly. Or if you need to talk about things, right, about people, you can use the first way to approach PPF strategy. Right, by talking about the past verses and present and then future. So that's it for today. I hope that lesson was helpful and the speaking part two doesn't seem too scary anymore. And uh, I'll see you next time.